Hello, fellow. Yeah. Hello, fellow YouTubers. Today I'm going to be discussing the ban list. Most of you have probably already heard about it and what's on it, uh, unless you live under a rock, which then you would be Patrick Star, so I wouldn't have a problem with that. But um, so yeah, uh, this is going to be my version of like my um discussion for the ban list. And so yeah. First off, we have Trisha Let Zero. Um, I really like the fact that they banned Trisha. Let. Um, I thought it would get reprinted before it got banned, or even limited. I, wait, no, it was already limited, I think. But yeah, I mean, it's really good, and it's like a plus two because you remove hand and field. So, I mean, it did kind of need to go I do realize how, I mean I do realize how a lot of people used it and they didn't really need to get rid of it but it was it was a really big game changer but you know if you're gonna get rid of Trishula why not get rid of Sangan and Monster Reborn next we have the plant killers glow up bulb and spore at zero uh, that means plants are officially dead now um I don't I, I, I know that Konami is basically trying to promote exceeds and they're getting rid of the heavy synchro decks but I just didn't understand why they needed to do that uh, plants were not that were not were as good as wind ups I mean honestly they weren't um, unless you side decked and could play really well so I mean it, it always depends on the player but plants weren't in my opinion, weren't as good as Insectors and Dino Rabbit and Windups. Um, next we have Trap Dust Shoot. I love that. Like, not the card. I love that they banned it because that was too good. I mean, it gave you a plus one or a minus one on your opponent, and you they knew what you knew what you were playing. They knew what you were probably gonna do. And they could set up against it. And it did really need to go. Good job, Konami. I really like that you did that. Um, then we have the TG Striker and Agent of Mystery Earth. That pretty much gets rid of all, most of the TG decks and most of the Agent decks. Um, you know, TG's actually, um, they actually topped at, uh, Oh, sorry, I got my mic rubbing it. Oh, sorry. They topped at one of the YCSs. So, um, maybe Konami can predict the future or something. <laughs> but, yeah. At two, we have the stupidest thing I've ever heard Freeborn Tengu. A fairly horrible choice for two, because now you can't even use it. And people that bought 18. Tengu, uh, Shadow Fox 4562, uh, um, they can't really use them now, I mean, they, they're gonna drop in price so much, and, no, not many people are gonna use them if you just get one back, um, next we have Lumina Lightshorn Summoner, uh, I guess they're trying to help Lightshorn for some reason, but it's not gonna help that much, Marshmallow, and I'm gonna put this like, what the level limit area be. Ray more stall. Um, there is like a kind of reasoning behind uh, level limit because uh, it's not as good anymore because it exceeds. They have ranked not levels, so they can get over level limit. And I mean, once you if you have like in install and burn wasn't really that bad because if you sided like anything like prime material dragon or anything that hurt them when they hurt you they lost basically um sorry I was picking at my I was picking at my um then we have emergency teleport I guess that was for e, e teledad or whatever it was um I, I I wasn't really around when that deck was out, but I know it was that Dad was at three, so I'm not sure. Uh, she and Smoke sig Signal. I don't know why. Um, I don't know why Samurai's need support. Uh, they're already 
good as it is. And I just don't get it. Uh, now we have a torrential at two. This doesn't make sense in my head. It actually blows my mind that Konami would actually do that. Like, my mind is actually floating around this room on rocket packs right now. And, uh, come back, nine! Okay, anyways. Uh, we, I just don't get it. I guess it's just um, help stop um, swarming from like XCs so we'll get a little support but it I just that it doesn't make any sense to me <laughs> uh, next we have ultimate offering ulti offering uh, mainly because I guess actually I don't know why they did this because they had um, I mean it just doesn't make sense to me mostly because you have the uh you have gadgets which is the main deck that use them and they are exceed decks so I don't know <laughs> those are the the bottom two on some limit are just the main two I don't get and then call the haunted at three if you're not gonna ban Monster Reborn or Sangan, why would you do that? Uh, I just Konami <laughs> Konami, you care about I know Konami does care about the players, but they care about the money more. That makes sense, but you know, it it just I, I've actually seen a lot of players quit because of this format and ah stupid windows error thingy message okay um and that I mean you probably lost a couple well not a couple you probably lost about a hundred players because of what you did Konami um which isn't a lot you're still probably gonna make a lot of money off of exceeds cause the wind up decks are like $2500 right now which is a lot of money on a card game, not a lot on a hobby, because there are a lot of hobbies that are more expensive. But people view it as, oh, it's a card game. Why would you spend so much money on that? So that's why it seems outrageous. But when you, um, my point is basically when I'm talking about this is you spend lots of money on hobbies. Okay, Yu-Gi-Oh is a hobby. Okay, and you spend so little on Yu-Gi-Oh than you do on uh, other hobbies like um, I don't know golf I guess that it it's not you gotta think about it I mean just I I don't like players quitting but you know it's kinda their fault they're being babies about it if they can't change their deck it's their fault and you know I just I guess this is it for this video. Uh, shout out to Shadow Fox forty five sixty two, um, and I know there are a couple players that are really mad about this format that actually quit, like Doogie from Team Robot Overlord, and I'm sad about that because I like Doogie a lot. Um, I don't know if he's still dueling on Dueling Network though, but he probably won't be since I think Blackwing Plants were his main deck, and then since they got banned you can't really do that anymore <laughs> uh, on March 1st anyways um but yeah I'm gonna be just cause uh, I'm just gonna be discussing the uh my I'm gonna be doing a deck profile on my deck and discussing the what is it I'm drawing like the uh raw yellow mega pack and gonna be doing in probably a new series on how to play black wings because I really, I'm pretty much an ex, I'm kind of an expert on black wings now. Uh, and <laughs> I, I know how to play them. I played them for like a long time. <laughs> I can't even remember when I started playing. I played them like two days after they came out. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I will see you guys later. Hopefully, I won't get hit by a bus, so I actually will see you guys later. I'm not actually going to see you guys unless you are in a video and you have your face on it, because then I can't actually see you. Uh, anyways, bye.